Oh, I can get to those guys through that house in front of me. Okay, let's try and pull, pull the dogs here. Oh, they're not interested in... Coming for me. Oh, one dog. Not the right one, though. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get a lightning spell off on these dogs. Maybe that'll pull aggro. Okay, one down. Oh, I got turned around. Okay, good. This one coming for me now too. Back up. And then, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So that's what happens if you're covered in oil and get hit by a flame arrow. I think it burnt off all the oil though, which is good. Also dual wield. Oh, shoot, there's a lot of these guys. All right, let's drag them out of this area. Oh, uh, this isn't where I thought I was going. Also, that was a spot to stick a stone. Also, smooth, silky stones. So much happening. All right, let's back up, recover, recoup, move forward. Okay, full health. Good. Move forward. Now, on the ground there, there was a spot to use one of the lock stones, which I probably should do. Oh, did I just walk through oil? Oh no, okay. One down. Archer. Down. Now I have to go all the way around again. And let's go up in the house and deal with the fire arrow guy because he's really starting to get on my nerves. Whoa. There's a lot of guys in here. Ah! I knew that they were going to be behind me, but I didn't think they were going to be on me that quick. Another dog. Let's deal with him first on his own. Okay, now there's two more sword guys to deal with. Oh no, that was like three or four. Alright, let's head inside and deal with that, I guess. what I thought. I was trying to auto-aim to the right, or to the left, sorry, but I couldn't. Oh. As long as I stay close to the house, I don't have to worry about the archer and the bomb-throwing guy, I guess. Okay, I know when one of them went upstairs. doesn't seem to be coming back downstairs. Uh, messages? Hurrah for chest. Trapped? Nope. Ooh, brigand items. Those might actually be useful. Uh, might be an upgrade for some of the equipment I have on, it sounds like. I think brigand would be a kind of in my line of, like, strength faith build. Alright, I seem to have alerted them. Let's head down. Come on. Are you going to follow me down here? Yeah, here we go. Whoa. Shoot. I do not like the look of this. He charged right at me. Okay. Um, this is going to take a while for me to get back up there again. 
There's a lot of guys to fight through very carefully. Uh, I'm gonna cut out a lot of the fighting up to that point. And then... Uh, if I die, I'll just show that, but hopefully I, that doesn't happen. Okay, whoa! I was not expecting the back attack. No, I'm gonna stamp. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, I think I cleared this tavern. I think that's what this place actually is. is a tavern of drunken skeletons. Um... Shoot, I still hear them moving around up there, but I think there's none down here, so it's just a matter of going up and triggering them. Yeah, like that. Take them individually while I can. I think there's still more. Shoot, okay. Ooh, chest. Uh, more shards and some repair powder. Solid items all around. Shoot, that's what I thought. Oily McGee's over there. Okay. So that one's dealt with. Um... Cannot open this from this side. There's also a big knight over there. Wonder if I could kill him with a like a bow and arrow or something. Oh, that's the weird drinking sound I hear. Is this guy having a drink? And then I just need to equip some bolts, which I have. So then how do I use this thing? Not like that. Uh there's no aim. Yeah, it looks like it's a hold and fire. Oh, I think it's sticking to the... the bars, even if... Yeah, it's sticking to the thin air. So I can't shoot through this. Lame. It seems like the way I had went before is actually the... way to get down there. Yeah, I've been over there. I think I have to go all the way around. But first, now that I've cleared this whole area... Also, let's get rid of this crossbow. Get rid of the bolts and that. Let's use this. Because I still have one and I haven't bought one from the merchant. So I still have one extra one. So let's use it. And then I won't use the one from the merchant until... I won't use the one until the merchant until I have like... I, I, unless I'm absolutely sure that I want to be using that last lock stone I have available. But seeing as I have two right now, uh, let's see what's in here. Whoa. Whoa, what? What happened? It lit uh, the torch up above? Yeah, up there. What did that do? Nothing? No. Really? Uh, I think that one might have actually been a waste. I've alerted this guy to my position, but other than that, I don't see anything. Because the last lockstone I used actually unlocked like a full-on like um, room with like a whole bunch of extra loot and stuff. But that's just making this area easier to navigate because it's better lit. I don't know. That doesn't seem very worth it. Alright, well, at least I've still got one more at the merchant. Now I know from now on, though, that those aren't always good, so I should be careful about using my last one. I'm, sh I'm sure there's probably more than just the... Um, the one the merchant sells. There's probably a couple more uh, throughout the game, but that's the only one I know of right now is the one the merchant has. So, i got to be careful on how I use that one. Whoa, no way. You totally slid across the ground there. Uh, I think I'm out of heal spells. Yeah, so flask. Now we have to go deal with the long arm guys. Uh, 
Oh. Are the long arm guys freaking out because of the light? Oh, okay. Well, that's not that's not so bad then. It's still not super useful because it didn't actually give me an item that's going to progress with me for the whole game, but it gave me Oh, can I drop down there? Ooh, that's a bit of a long drop. Oh, I made it though. Okay, so that's how I get in here. Are you an enemy? Oh, you're not. Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gavlan will, Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many souls. <laughs> oh, talking while drinking, that's impressive. What you want. What you Gavlan, have. You will, you deal. <laughs> uh. Buy? Increase poise? Eh. Yeah. Poison arrows. Ooh, reduce poison buildup and cures poison. Throwing knives, coat it with poison. And deploy poison to right weapon. Eh. Nothing I really want. I could sell, though. I don't think that anyone else lets me sell items. So that's something. What the heck is that? Weird. He doesn't let me sell for a lot, but at least it's something. Like, I don't need these great swords, so I could get a couple hundred souls for each of those. I don't know if I'm going to be using shields all that much. Ah, let's not sell anything. You never know when I might want to use it. Let's talk some more. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. What? With Gavlan. I think this is the same thing he said when I first talked to him. What yeah, he only has one dialogue. You go home. Okay. Pull. Okay, so that opens up this shortcut, which doesn't really do much. Because I think I'm going to be able to get to the bridge here, which should be an easier shortcut to take. Uh, door ahead, praise the sun. Okay. So yeah, this leads out to here. Oh, assassin guy. Oh, shoot. Lightning, lightning, lightning. This is where lightning comes in handy. Okay, I don't think I've been in this door before yet. More drunken guys. Oh, that didn't kill. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to clear both of those guys up pretty quick. Oh, whoa, more, 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 more assassins. Okay, you know what? Bridge. Forget all this. Let's go for the bridge. Oh, more arm guys, but they're all hiding. Nice. Going for the bridge. Probably getting followed. Nice. Go, go, go. Okay, so now I've opened up a whole new area. I don't have to, or sorry, not opened up a whole new area. I've open, opened up a shortcut, which means I no longer have to go all the way around. Uh, I don't have to fight through all those dogs and all that other junk. I can just take this bridge, which again, kind of makes the torch somewhat useless. I don't know. I guess it makes it easier going through this zone, but I would have preferred loot. Always loot. Get out. Whoa! That's unfortunate. But I should have an easier time getting back to those 10,000 souls. Okay, crossing the bridge. Grabbing my souls. And you know what? Let's get out of here for now. Um, now that I've opened up that shortcut, I can come back here later.
Oh, I didn't notice that this guy had miracles before. Uh, emit force. Which I have one. I forgot that I picked that up. Which is the one that pushes enemies around. Okay, cool. So, this one here I can't control, but it just shoots lightning randomly. Oh, it might be in all directions. Ooh, okay. Well, let's grab this bolt stone. Yes. Now, I don't know what I want to use that on, but I think I definitely want it. And let's grab Heavenly Thunder, because why not? I've got the souls for it. And I didn't have enough souls to get another level anyways. I only would have had like 5,000. Actually, that might have been enough for a level, but whatever. Let's get some loots. Okay. So it just shoots random bolts? Hmm. Weird. I could actually see that being super useful if I'm getting like surrounded or something, although it has a pretty large cast time and it seems like it's pretty random whether it even hits anything. Eh. Five uses though. Also, depending on the size of, like, say, a boss or something, like if I had a super big boss and I used that, like, say, against the giant with the, that I fought in the forest of the giant's area, that might hit him multiple times doing tons of damage. Potentially, maybe? That's worth trying against, like, bigger bosses that I can get underneath or really close to. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, and as for the stone I bought, I, I'm just not sure... Uh, whether or not I want to use it on my mace because if I remember correctly from the first Dark Souls using or imbuing a weapon with lightning uh, where oh I guess it's probably under the Titan shards I was just gonna go look at it yeah yeah imbues uh, equipment with lightning I would imagine that like the first Dark Souls game whenever something was imbued with lightning it lost all of its uh, stat requirements so like this mace is strength B scaling so it would lose that so it would gain lightning but would probably only be 156 and wouldn't get that plus 87 anymore so that would probably wouldn't be very good although this doesn't scale with lightning or it doesn't scale with lightning it doesn't scale with strength already so if I was to make this lightning imbued all it would do is increase its total damage output but I only use that in rare situations when I want to pancake guys because I don't have enough vitality to wield it and still move reliably. Unless I got more points in vitality, then I could use this thing all the time. I don't know, just options at this point. Just talking. Um, mostly to hear if you guys have any feedback on those thoughts. Now, NPCs. Yeah, I don't see these NPCs. They may not have moved in yet, or I may not know where they are moved to they could be anywhere in here yeah that's pretty much it though i think next time we'll continue traveling through that wharf zone i'd like to get to the ship now that i've dropped that bridge and yeah see what's there maybe try some more heavenly thunder attacks but for now this is totally signing out later guys